Hi everyone, this is Edgar with American Audio and today we're going to go over the brand new Encore 2000. The Encore 2000 is the all-in-one unit that is designed for the mobile working DJ. It features trays so you can actually play off of CD or MP3 discs. You also have USB inputs for memory sticks or flash drives. Also, it comes bundled with Virtual DJ LE software, so you have your MIDI input so you can control your software with the Encore 2000. And last, it has an auxiliary input, which we'll go over in just a minute. The Encore 2000 features bright LCD displays that can be seen from a wide angle, touch-sensitive scratching. The unit also includes an MP3 cradle that mounts just above the unit's auxiliary mini jack input. This makes it easy for a DJ to plug in his favorite media players so he could play his MP3s directly onto the Encore 2000. The Encore 2000 plays MP3, CD, and CDR discs. You have two USB slots for thumb drives or hard drives. It has a built-in 4x4 audio interface, balanced XLR outputs, digital scratch effect, tempo lock, USB media player fader start relay playback, large bright LCD displays show track name, elapsed, remaining, and total time, auto BPM, folder number, pitch, etc. You have instant start on your CD players, plus 10 track advance button, very quick MP3 CD recognition, tap sync BPM, your pitch range can be selected to plus or minus 4%, 8% or 16%. The Encore 2000 also features anti-shock, which is 20 seconds per side. The main mixer features on the Encore 2000 are, you have two channels with three band EQs for each channel. In deck mode, you can control your trays, whether it's CD or MP3 discs that you're playing, your USB inputs, and also the Virtual DJ LE software. All right, so now let's check out how to play from some of the audio sources using the Encore 2000. First, you'll see in USB input one, I have my USB stick in there. So I'm gonna play a track off of there. If I wanted to play off the same source, all I have to do on this side is select source to be from the USB input one. Now, as far as some of the features, I can still do everything from scratching, uh, pitch control for your mix, and also looping, seamless looping. Next, if I wanted to play from a source like a CD or MP3, I just input that into the tray, which I have here. So I have a regular audio CD in there and all the same features as far as pitch control, um, jog wheels, scratching, and seamless looping. So there you see how easy it is to select sources using the Encore 2000. If I wanted to play off of USB input one, USB input two, or CD mode, all I have to do is push the source select button. Next, if I wanna play off the virtual DJ software, all I have to do is hold down the source button for a couple seconds. Then it'll switch me into MIDI mode. From there, I could push play and my song will start. Same thing, if I wanted to use the pitch control, I could do that. The looping is already mapped out to match the software. Also your sync button is your tap BPM button and queuing is still works the same. All right, so there you have it, the Encore 2000, the all-in-one MIDI controller that features CD trays for CD or MP3s, also USB inputs for your flash drives or hard drives, an auxiliary input for your media player, also comes bundled with virtual DJ LE software. Don't forget, for any more information, you can always go on to www.americanaudio.us. I'm Edgar with American Audio. Thanks for watching.